Hi all, welcome to Ranjit Anastasia Academy. Today we are going to deal with one interesting topic in congenital cardiac surgery. Why we have to discuss this topic when you have an established practice for over 50 years? Over 50 years, what we do is a full sternotomy, repair the child, ventilate the child for over 24 hours, then extubate the child. Why we have to reduce the incision size and why you have to frost sack the kid in particularly congenital cardiac surgery. Why you have to do that? Ever since Fried Brothers saw a bird and came with the aeroplane, the Chinese have gone one step ahead. They saw a bird's nest and came with the stadium called Olympic Nest, bird's nest where the best ever Olympic was net. Then American went one step ahead. They saw an eagle and came with the fighter stage that can strike the enemy 1000 kilometers apart. So, you have to be innovative to be successful. So, when this innovation is put on healthcare, as rightly put by Dr. Michael Porter, innovation and technology are the only true long term solution to high quality affordable healthcare. So, you have to be innovative to be successful even in healthcare. So, next 20 to 30 minutes, I will be dealing with whether it is possible to reduce the incision size and fast track the pediatric cardiac surgical patient, if at all why do it, what are the different approaches we have and what are the indications, what are the advantages and disadvantages of both, how it is done and what are the results and what is the current state and future. These are the various topics we are going to deal with now. Coming to the background, okay. in this era of cost containment, any technique that allows maximal uses of resources without jeopardizing patient safety is welcome. The most important part is the patient safety should not be jeopardized. So, you can use any innovation, but the patient safety should not be compromised. Why we are reluctant to put this on the pediatric patient? You have to understand that the infant and children are not miniature adult. Their physiology, their pharmacology, anatomy is entirely different from adult. They might look like a small adult, but definitely the physiology and pharmacology are not the same. And the ability to communicate the level of distress or discomfort is very, very limited by limited in children. They cannot communicate what happens to them. And you need adequate anesthesia and muscle relaxants for them to undergo the procedure, which means your fast tracking can.